Welcome to another episode of The Relief Report. I'm Stephanie Claremont, your digestive dietitian, and this show is all about getting you super clear on what is causing your digestive issues, things like gas, bloating, abdominal discomfort or pain, diarrhea or constipation, so you can get back to feeling normal and enjoying your life. Now today, in this episode, I'm wearing a red sweater. It's getting a bit holiday around here. Maybe I'll do the next one in front of my Christmas tree. Yes, meet me next week in front of my Christmas tree. Um, So we're kind of getting into that season that for a lot of us that have digestive health issues makes us a bit worried to leave our house, makes us a bit worried to go out there and eat all the different kinds of food and, and, and suffer with things like gas and bloating. So in today's episode, I wanted to talk about how you can beat holiday bloating. What's causing your holiday bloating? and how you can beat it. All right, so I'm gonna give you five main tips, five of the most common pieces of advice that I give everyone in my Clarity program and all of my clients that helps them during the holidays to get rid of that bloating or at least to minimize it as much as possible. I mean, one of the big things is that it's the holidays, you're gonna have a glass of wine, you're gonna have a cocktail, you're gonna have a candy cane, you know, there's a couple of of different things that you're just gonna have to enjoy, but if we could minimize that bloating, instead of feeling like a 10, you're feeling like a five, you know, you don't feel your greatest, but you aren't in the bathroom and feeling super uncomfortable and your pants are so tight, then we're winning, right? So five tips on how to get rid of that holiday bloating, how to beat it. Okay, so tip number one, reason number one that you're getting bloated during the holidays is too much food. That's right way too much food. And I don't mean like too much food, like you're eating too much, but you're eating too much at one time. So very often when we socialize, when we're going out for dinner, we're going to a potluck, or we're celebrating with our family during the holidays, we eat a lot at one time. And what I see and hear so often with my clients in the Clarity Program is that they don't really eat during the day because they know they're gonna eat a lot at night. And this gives you permission to eat a lot at night or you know, in the afternoon or during that like festival, you know, the festivities and the celebration that you're having. And that eating so much food at one time is really hard on your gut to digest all that food. So eating too much food at any time of the year can really cause bloating and other abdominal issues. So what you wanna do instead is please don't save up all your calories at night or for that event you're going to. Have a healthy breakfast, like a bowl of oatmeal with some pecans and a little bit of blueberries. Have a healthy lunch, you know, maybe it's uh, a some quinoa or some rice with a little bit of steamed vegetables and some chicken or some tofu, like keep it simple, keep it simple, keep it safe, keep it trigger free, morning, lunch, you know, have that afternoon snack if you need it. And then when you go out to that holiday celebration, whether that's dinner or late lunch or, you know, whatever it is, Don't be starving. Don't feel so hungry that you have to eat everything. Feel content. Feel like you had a good day and minimize the amount of food that you're eating out. Don't overindulge. Have a normal serving size at dinner time, okay? That's the first one. Really important one, all right? Number two, how to beat the bloat during the holidays is... Well, why you're actually getting bloated is foods that are very easily fermented. So that means that the the gut bacteria is breaking them down, fermenting them, and causing that gas and bloating in the abdominal system. So we want to minimize or avoid those foods that are very easily fermented in our gut. Now, there's a lot of foods, and we don't have enough time to go on a strict diet during the holidays, do we? But some of the main, main culprits that are very easily fermented are going to be some common things that you've heard of before. So things like um, fructose. So this would be like fructose is common in a lot of fruits. So sometimes we're having like too much fruit. Um, And so you could minimize the fruit that you're having during the holiday celebrations to like half of a cup. That would be a maximum. Some other fermented foods are anything that's in the FODMAP categories. And if you haven't heard about FODMAPs, you don't know where to start with that, head on over to my website, stephanieclaremont.com. I talk about FODMAPs all the time. These foods are very easily fermented. And after the holidays, you might want to get on a plan to get rid of them um, and kind of get clear on what your threshold and your triggers are. But for now, minimizing those FODMAP foods are going to be helpful. So one is don't have a ton of fruit, maybe half a cup of a serving at a time. Two, don't have a ton of dairy. So some Sometimes that lactose, that milk and cream can hide in a lot of different dishes like mashed potatoes and all kinds of stuff. So make sure you don't have a lot of that either. And then also sugars like 
like sweeteners, things like mannitol and sorbitol, any kind of like sweetener that you find in like gum and candies, you really want to minimize that stuff as well. Okay, so those FODMAP foods are very easily fermented. So if you can minimize FODMAPs, that would be great and you're going to have less bloating. Again, FODMAPs is kind of a more complex subject for another day where we can actually identify which are your triggers and which are not. And you want to really work with a dietitian to get clear on that. Um, but you want to maybe avoid some of those easily fermented foods. Another group of very easily fermented foods that cause gas and bloating are sulfurous vegetables. So these are things like onions, garlic, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, cauliflower, asparagus, that kind of a group of food. And although onions and garlic are in everything, what you might want to do is just minimize that. So instead of having the garlic bread, you have something else. Instead of having those dips that are all spicy and have tons of onions and garlic, you avoid that. Okay, so the onions and garlic, as much as you can minimize, just don't choose the foods that are full of onions and garlic and really limit the amount of sulfurous vegetables that you have. So maybe avoid the roasted Brussels sprouts or only have a couple. All right, so number four are to beat the holiday bloating is to avoid the most common culprits, which are the most common food allergies or food intolerances, especially with my practice. I help people with digestive health issues every day. And the most common ones, these are not ones you need to avoid for the rest of your life, but you might want to minimize when you're eating out or when you're celebrating is wheat and dairy. Now we've already mentioned dairy as a very easily fermented food, but it also has lactose in it, which can be really hard to break down. And wheat, although you might be fine with a little bit of wheat, some people can have a gluten sensitivity or a sensitivity to fructans, which is the sugar that happens to be in wheat as well. So you don't have to eat wheat-free, dairy-free. That's not what I'm saying. But these things are in a lot of our foods. So if you can minimize the amount, that would be great. So if you're going to have, let's say, a bun at a holiday dinner, don't also have the stuffing and three pieces of pumpkin pie that all has, you know, collects all the wheat in it. Maybe skip the bun, skip the stuffing and have the pie. You know what I mean? So kind of minimize the amount of that. Same with dairy. Watch that dairy. It kind of hides in different things. It can be in cookies and treats and puddings and now it's mashed potatoes again. You put it in your coffee. So kind of minimize that dairy as much as you can. And those common culprits can actually soothe that bloating and have it happen way, way, way less. And finally, the fifth thing that is causing that holiday bloating is IBS. That's irritable bowel syndrome. So if you're having that bloating, that abdominal distension, discomfort, gas, abdominal pain more often, not just during the holidays, then you really might be dealing with irritable bowel syndrome. And this is something that you can go and talk to your doctor about. What it technically is, is abdominal pain or discomfort along with some kind of change in your bowel movements. That means the frequency, so they're happening more often or less often, or the consistency, meaning you have diarrhea or constipation, or relief. So when you actually have a bowel movement, you feel a heck of a lot better and that pain is gone. So that's what IBS actually is. And if you're dealing with these kinds of symptoms on an ongoing basis, not just during the holidays, maybe they get worse during the holidays, but they're happening ongoing, you really want to, one, talk to your doctor about it, and two, work with me in the Clarity Program or with another experienced registered dietitian who can really help you with digestive health issues. That's exactly why I run the Clarity Program, why I do everything I do every single day to support my clients, is to get them on a clear plan to identify what's causing their issues so they can get rid of those IBS symptoms and get back to feeling more like themselves. So if this is ongoing, you definitely want to have a conversation with your doctor about IBS and get on a plan like our Clarity Plan to get a lot better. All right, my friend. So that was five tips on how to beat holiday bloating. I hope that helps. Don't feel overwhelmed. Remember, you're going to go out there and do the very best you can. Minimize these common triggers. And if you need help identifying what your triggers are, join me anytime at stephanieclaremont.com where you can learn more and you can ask us about the Clarity Program. We'd love to talk to you about being a client. All right. Have a happy holiday and I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.